I had to think. Sorry, guys. Hey, Virgos. Welcome back to the channel. Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be a new love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I hope the glare is not entirely too bad, y'all. Um, I'm currently on a holiday uh, with the twins. Uh, so as you guys can see, my background is not the same. Um, I'm also trying to be a little quiet because they literally just, just passed out. Um, I'm personally exhausted a little bit myself, uh, but trust me, my energy is still here, guys, but I'm just not trying to be super, super loud. Um, with that being said, uh, we had a resort, so you may hear people next door, um, you know, being slightly loud. I'm not really sure, so just please bear with me. Um, if you're new to the channel, Virgos, welcome. If you return to my channel, welcome. My name is Leash. And again, this is a new love reading. So we're going to pull from seven decks for you guys. So we got some healing oracle, some yin yang oracle, some hidden truth. At the very end, we will pull a little bit of tarot. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but anything about me, look down below in the description box. Um, also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I mean, it's totally free. Um, it does take a lot of time and energy for me to be here and do the readings for you guys. So just in return, if you could just, you know, do me the favor and subscribe to the channel. Sorry, the heater's kicking on. Ooh, <laughs> it sounds like it's sick. Um, and um, like the videos and definitely leave a comment, all right? And let me know, like, where y'all at with it. So this is for those that's looking for a new love. Uh, old love may show up. I don't have no control over that, but this is general. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, hmm. With that being said, let's get into your messages. New love for Virgos. Y'all, career and finance reading is actually up on the channel right now. Um, the monthly is not up yet. Um, so I might actually just do a collective for all signs. Since I'm doing new love readings, I'm not really sure. I haven't really figured it out yet. But if I do do individual signs for you, just ring the bell. Um, it will probably be about next week. All right, let's see. Ooh, that was a bad one. Messages for Virgo. New love. New love. Spirit guides, Archangel, Divine White Light. What is the messages for Virgo for new love? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. So sorry it took a little minute, but I literally just started putting out new love readings probably like a day ago. Um, something like that. What's going on with my cards? I saw a true love. <laughs> Ooh, Virgos. Are y'all manifesting true love? Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you basically helps bring this person in, helps draw you towards them. Um, so I would say create a vision board if you are looking for new love or a, you know connection your helpmate whatever like that i would strongly consider making a vision board now what i will say is um the regardless of the person that you are wanting to manifest um do not put a picture of someone on your vision board <laughs> i learned this the hard way so i put someone on my vision board um who happens to be a celebrity I'm, I didn't want that particular person to be my person but as far as like the facial features the hair you know the body the tone all the things like that is like pretty much what I was tracking to right so I put that person on my vision board right now mind you uh, some of the roles that this person plays in their films is like really closed off uh emotionless um emotionally unavailable um pretty much like that and it's like all the features of this celebrity you know what i'm saying as far as the height the weight the body the hair the the skin complexion the smile like everything was the celebrity including the characteristics that this celebrity played in movies um and I couldn't understand, like, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, what is going on? And then God was like, showed me a vision of, like, the movies that this person plays in and, like, how their character is in the films. And I said, oh, my God. I immediately stopped what I'm doing. I ran, I flew home. I did, like, probably, because I was in another state. I moved to another state. Those of you that don't know. I flew home 
I ripped that person off my vision board like so fast um and so now I've been seeing new energy um coming in which is pretty much the energy that I've been desiring to manifest uh so I don't know who needs to hear that but yeah if you do a vision board don't put any a picture of no particular person on the vision board um and I thought that that was so crazy y'all like it was so crazy like I mean I'm telling you like everybody like you know what I'm saying like every person that came in was that person even the character that they played in the film um now the character was never abusive enough like that but as far as like the detached energy like listen anyway so I feel like your vision board will work um even if you journal or log it down um or just verbally speak out your mouth like you know universe Allah spirit God whatever you resonate with um I'm ready for my soulmate right so that's that was pretty dope but like y'all y'all had to see my face like when they showed me I was like oh my god oh honeymoon Virgo listen baby I got that for um I think it was Leo I think it was Leo's uh, video on the actual clock right now it is um 1101 all right so take it out where's name's 111 all right but we got honeymoon it says enjoy the, the bliss of holiday time together oh my god this lighting in this hotel is shitty um but anyway i don't know why i had to like go in on the shittiness but anyways, y'all got somebody coming in. Okay. Um, it says love yourself first at the bottom of the deck. It says self-love. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I feel like this person is attracted to you because um, or they're going to be pulled towards you or drawn towards you. Maybe when you initially meet. Um, it's not giving me love at first sight, but it is giving me like someone that's attractive. I'm getting like king or queen of wands. So someone that's very, very attractive um, from the natural eye. I do see this person could be slightly overweight um, between 5'6 six and 6'2 six is what I'm seeing. Um, okay, I'm seeing two males. I'm seeing, I see a lady too, but I see somebody with a close cut and I see somebody with like, they don't look like locks, but they definitely look like it's not giving man bun either maybe braids maybe black braids and then i'm also seeing somebody that has a close cut one has a beard and one has no beard um the person with braids doesn't have a beard but the person with the close cut has like a nice beard like a nice beard when you can like groom and massage and probably like put plaits in and shit like that um now the female is pretty much the same thing as far as the weight um slightly overweight now not everybody because i do see somebody that kind of is like active or like actively working out or like whatever maybe they have like a really um physical job so someone could, i'm hearing a foreman so i don't know if this is a construction foreman okay um i'm hearing a po so someone could be a parole officer um, or like in that kind of a feel. Okay. Um, but anyways, at least they got a job, right? Oh, my shoulder is twitching. I don't know if y'all see that jumping on a camera, but it is twitching crazy. But anyways, uh, that looks great, guys. Let's keep moving. Um, I know I don't seem like I'm here, but I'm here. I promise you. This is uh, love oracle messages. Okay, this is, these are actually healing love oracle messages. So let's see what you or potentially your person may need to do some healing work with. If not, this is just a message from message from spirit. Divine light at the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful. That's exactly what you want to see. Um, it's definitely giving me um. That this union is going to be blessed, this connection is going to be blessed, it's going to be protected. Um, your angels or ancestors or spirit guides are actually bringing you two together. 
again I'm getting heavy fire energy and now I'm picking up a little bit of air but I'm definitely getting fire energy for you guys so you guys may have fire placements or this person is a fire sign all right we got the divine fruit as I work to improve and free myself I strengthen my foundation see strength is giving me Leo card don't necessarily have to be um, my intellect see that's giving me air is light my heart is warmth and my soul is strength i am nurtured by the divine sun it's definitely giving leo now um the fruit i bear reflects my inner light that's a beautiful car y'all and this is a new deck i've never seen this car at all okay so it's definitely giving me leo energy you may be a virgo leo cusper don't necessarily have to be but you definitely could be um or you may just have like a virgo or i'm sorry like a leo moon is what i'm hearing okay okay i like that y'all i love that let's see if we can get one more for y'all definitely like comment and subscribe let me know are y'all talking to a fire sign or y'all talking to an air sign i'm here in gemini 11 11 is on the timer right now so it definitely could be a twin flame or definitely a high level soulmate. But let's see. Ooh, it's, this relationship is going to bring you so much harmony. And I feel like this is a long time coming, y'all. I feel like y'all been in a lot of stressful connections that I'm seeing like folks that really, I don't know. I want to say like ridiculed y'all, but this could also just be folks that just didn't maybe see your potential or value you in some type of way. Um... You know but i feel like this connection here is definitely going to be harmonious and that's exactly what y'all want so i feel like y'all did the right thing y'all definitely look mm, yeah because y'all kept the faith here virgos i love that it says faith it says i am confident i will achieve my goals i live in the present and have faith in the future i firmly believe in my value within the universe yeah, the universe is definitely responding to y'all, okay? So, Virgos, let me tell you. Listen, I just, I, I felt the notion to pretty much just say, like, your prayers have been answered. Did y'all just hear that? My phone just pinged right now. See, Gmail says now. Um, but I feel like y'all prayers have been answered here. Um, Virgos, for real. Hey, this is nice. This is like so nice. Oh, y'all could get a message about some money because this is from my bank. This <laughs> says, uh, it's telling me something's available. <laughs> so y'all might get something from y'all bank for real. Um, that's what's happening. That's what's up. Um, that's a side note because I ain't got nothing to do with love, but you may love your money. Um, but that's nice though. Let's get some more messages. Love horrible messages here. I'm definitely getting fire and air. Let me know if y'all talking to a fire sign. Again, I'm so sorry. I know it might not seem like my energy is here, but it's, it's here, guys. I'm just trying to be quiet because, like, they literally just passed out. Like, this resort is like it's amazing i don't know why i was so against coming here in the first fucking place like i don't i just don't i just don't understand <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand i had a wonderful time i had a wonderful time all right message let's let's get a shuffle here more love messages from my virgos I almost said gemini so some of y'all might be dealing with a gemini but I definitely see that fire energy here, though. Shout out to the Leos. Is this some Leos in here cross-watching for a Virgo? Alright. Message of Spirit, please, for my Virgos. New love. New love. So, Virgos, y'all got a blessed divine union ship that's coming in here for y'all. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be unparalleled. And I definitely get that it's a long time coming relationship is going to be blessed spiritually financially like all kind of ways that you can think about um it's going to truly be as above so below um and this is beautiful did i just hear that though um this is beautiful 
Oh Lord, I see reconciliation at the bottom of the deck, y'all. But it could be reconciling with a past life love soulmate. That's truly what I'm getting because this thing feels like deep. It says, open yourself to love. It is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Virgos. Come on, man. You feel that thing beating. You know that thing. You know when you see that person, that thing go woo, woo, woo. Can you woo? You like, down, girl. <laughs> down, boy. <laughs> down, girl. <laughs> down now. Ooh, I know I could think like that. I know I could feel those kind of emotions now. I feel like this is probably somebody that ain't got no in a minute. Okay. 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 It says overthinking. It says playing negative scenarios in your head has created issues which weren't there before, Virgo. So some of you guys may have already encountered this person. Um, maybe this person is really trying to get their shit together. Maybe this person is like, oh, man, I got to you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It says reconciliation. Someone from your past is or will be returning to your life very soon. All right. It didn't say your last relationship person. It didn't specify. So don't ask me. Um, just be on, be aware. Because I don't even want to say be on the lookout because this might be somebody that you don't really want to talk to. So I really wouldn't even say be on the lookout. Oh, we got to redirect y'all thoughts. Definitely. So let me tell y'all what I told, um, I think it was Gemini. It might have been Gemini. Um, but listen, y'all better want to. Y'all need to be mindful. Like, don't think of any negative scenarios, past situations, whatever. Whoever played you, whoever hurt you before, because you can't associate the new person with the past person, right? Because you're supposed to be a new clean, a new clean slate, right? So we can't really think about that. Um, but if you just so happen to think about those things, remember thoughts become things and those things will come about in your life. So you don't want to fuck up a good thing. All right. So just know that you got a good man. I, I love that man. I care about that man. Or, you know, this is a nice, genuine person. I, I can see myself with this person. I can see myself building a future with this person, whatever. But whatever negative shit you've been saying, you need to cut it out right now. It says, put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. This is the second card here with the love yourself first. So I feel like a lot of you guys, this is a lesson that you guys have been learning, Virgos. I feel like you guys have been, oh my Lord, I couldn't even get it out. I feel like you guys have been neglecting your own needs, truths, wants, desires um, for other people. Now me, I personally can attest to that. Um... Not that it's intentionally, but I like to, like, like one of my love languages is to see other people smile um, and to see other people thrive and happy and, you know, fulfilled. And so that, that tickles me like, no, tomorrow I'm not going to cap. Um, but I had to learn like, whoa, leash, whoa, whoa, leash, stop, get, stop cutting checks, dog. All right, stop, 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 stop picking up tabs, dog. Stop doing all this shit because it's like. Where motherfuckers at when I be reaching out? You know what I'm saying? Not that I really, I rarely reach out to people as is, but it's like when I do, it's like I don't know that man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's not like I, I feel like people don't actually say that in particular, but it is like, um, you know what I'm saying? It's like. It do make you think. It makes you think. Okay? And you gotta draw back. You got you gotta draw back. You gotta refrain from cutting checks. You gotta refrain from picking up tabs. You gotta refrain from saying, Oh, I, I, I got that. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm in the store, like, if I see somebody that, like, like the other day, I was at Dunkin' because that's, like, where I go get my coffee from, right? And so, I'm always eager to, like, just give. I just have a loving heart. So, I seen a guy that looked like, you know, he could have been experiencing some tough times. Um, so, I yelled out. I said, hey, would you like something from in here? And I said it like two, three times, right? And the guy was looking right at me. So, at that point, I kind of figured like, you know, maybe he owns something. So, I said, oh, okay. No worries. I'll just go in and get my coffee and go, my, go about my day, right? So, on my way out, I was in the car and I was backing out, whatever like that. And... I don't know what I was doing, whatever. But I something said look right. Well, not something. I'm not. I'm gonna stop doing that. God said look right. 
so I looked right and I seen a guy he was like counting change right and he was trying to stop a lady that was coming out of the Duncan and he was like excuse me um and the lady was like motherfucker I ain't helping you that's probably what she said I don't know for sure but her body language and her face expression definitely said it and so I put my window down because it pissed me off and I said excuse me real loud I know like everybody in the parking lot heard me I said ask him how much because he was like frustrated he was walking away and I was like tell him ask him what he need what he really need and so he heard me he turned around and I waved him you know to come here and he came over to my car and I said, how much do you need? And he was counting his change. And I said, don't worry about it. So I gave him money, you know, and it just made me so happy that, you know, he could go in and get a donut or his coffee or a sandwich even, you know, I don't even know what the fuck he wanted. I didn't even ask. I didn't care. Um, I just saw somebody that was in need of something and. I was just grateful that God put me there to be able to service them. So, I don't know. I feel like this person is going to be, like, really genuine and really caring, like, about an aunt, like, just every day. So, this is, like, they're, like, a sweet person. We have magne magnetic connection. This is a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. See? That's the pull right there. That's the intensity. Like, this, it could be an Aquarius um, or somebody that got Aquarius placements in their chart as well, too. But I just feel like like this sensitivity that this person has for life, for humanity, I feel like you're just going to be so touched. And this person may come off nerdy, but the sex going to be on point. All right. I need you to know that because I feel like some people, like for me, sex is, is important. It's important. You know what I'm saying? And some people are like, eh. People that's like that, like, bitch, you... You just started fucking him. And I don't want to say it like that, like it's a bad thing. But it's like, bitch, you, you, you care about some motherfucking sex. Like, I don't give a fuck. And people that say they don't care about sex, it make me question them. <laughs> like, you won't even get a date with me. You won't even get a date with me. Because it's like... I ain't got time for no surprises. <laughs> Ooh, we got engagement and we got separation. So somebody may be leaving somebody to go towards somebody. Okay, if that makes sense. Because separation says, time apart from me and partners on the horizon. And some of you guys, you may have already experienced this separation. It's definitely given to a flame. And we also have engagement. Your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, and maybe you guys pull back from this person too because maybe... Maybe you just wasn't sure about this person or if they were going to check your boxes or dot your I's and cross your T's or whatever it is. Um, but I feel like as I'm just getting the heart grows fonder. Okay, so I don't know. There could be a separation here um, for some of you guys. But I do get a strong notion that this person is leaving something and and you guys are going to meet. Or this person is going to be separated when you guys meet. Take how it resonates. At the bottom of the deck, we got to redirect your thoughts. Focus on what you want to attract in this relationship, not on what you fear will happen. Come on, spirit. They coming through today, dog. So this person may very well already be in your energy. And this is what spirit is telling me to um, that you guys got to, you know, not do. Okay. Remember I said thoughts become things. Those things will show up into your, your reality. So you will, we want to be careful about particular things that we're thinking all right um pretty much what i said earlier okay this is we're just getting backed up here so let's see what this person is talking about here all right so what does this person want to say to virgo what does this person want to say to virgo can we get about two to three cards thank you oh three exactly I don't want you I don't want to know at the bottom of the deck I still have feelings for you okay so this is definitely somebody that you guys you know Ooh, I trusted you somebody that broke your trust okay 
Yeah, the separation came out. It's definitely given like twin flames or someone that maybe potentially wasn't all the way healed from a past situation. And maybe this is what caused the separation. It's also what I'm getting. I wonder how you feel. So there's been some quietness here. Okay. Uh, I feel like this person has, um, you know, had time to ponder over, you know, what happened in the connection, uh, you know, possibly where they fell short here. This is the left side. Okay. We'll see what comes out when the tarot ends. So that way you guys can kind of pinpoint where you're at. Um, so let's see, what does Virgo want to say to this person? This person could have been closed out too to love due to a past situation too. Um, again, same thing. This person was doing a lot of overthinking, um, closed out, pretty much what I said earlier, right? Closed off, didn't let you get too close, um, shit like that. What does Virgo want to say to this person? I still feel the pain, you yeah. know. Okay, what else does Virgo want to say to this person here? I don't know what comes next yeah because i feel like you was just as stumped as this person was i feel like you both couldn't believe it i feel like you both couldn't believe that this thing um that i feel like you both were really really drawn to uh, fell apart um i feel like someone feels like they try and that they were trying to be patient here but i also feel like someone feels like they could no longer do that um, yeah, I don't want to let you go at the bottom of the deck. So I don't feel like this person wanted to do this. I feel like they felt like this was the best thing for them to do was to disconnect from this connection. Now, I don't know if it became, um, toxic to some degree. Yeah, I don't know how to feel. Yeah, so Virgo's like, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not really sure, you know. I don't really know if I want to revisit this because, you know, you wouldn't open up. You wouldn't communicate with me. You wouldn't let me in. Um, and that is super frustrating when you are trying to be patient with someone and you're trying to, you know, express, you know, you know, what you want from a situation, from a relationship. And this person gives you nothing in return um, will make you kind of think that. If this person is seeing someone else or if this is the right connection to be in or should I stay, should I go, um, you know, that energy will creep up on you. I ain't going to lie. It will. It certainly will. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Is this what y'all are dealing with? Will y'all take this person back? Did this person cheat on you? Um, or was it simply because they just didn't know how to love? Or they just were afraid to love again? Because uh, that's what I get. That's what I'm getting here. Um, what does this person have to say to Virgo? Alchemy, ancestors, guides. Okay. So ancestors are definitely helping enlighten this person, wake this person up. What else does this person want to say to Virgos? And that's also giving me healing energy too with alchemy. I'm here, Archangel Michael here. I can't make it up. Closed off, guarded, resistance. Yeah, this person was definitely that. I'm so sorry. The people next door is like super loud. Messages and dreams. Okay, so this person is definitely getting dreams about you through their ancestors, through the spirit realm. And maybe they're like, I'm, I'm showing like an old school movie reel. Um, you know, like the real old film, like movie film, the real. So they're showing me a reel. So it's like they are um, flashing memories to this person in their sleep. I think. It looks like memories of you two from a past life. 
and I'm also I'm also seeing a scroll. So maybe God is showing this person like you agreed to this contract before you you know reincarnated. So why are you acting like this? You know whatever I don't know. Um, and it could have been lessons that this person had to learn. Not really sure. Everybody's story is different, but I am seeing them. I'm, I'm seeing ancestors, angels, showing this person a reel while they're sleeping. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like on um, Men in Black, you know, when they do the thing to, like, cl clean their mind. It's like that, but the opposite. Like, they're trying to put this shit back into this person's mind. It's crazy. Um, but we got integration and we have union. Again, I'm so sorry. That's not me being loud. That's the the suite next to us. Sun, strength, and empowerment. I'm telling you. This is either healing and clarity that's coming into this person, which is also going to be coming into this connection because they're calling for a reunion here. Now, we do have free will, so y'all could do what y'all want. Um, but me personally, I feel like if it wasn't any infidel infidelities if you guys were married so i don't know if you guys were married and went through a divorce or if there was like no cheat in here in this connection then i would say okay um but there also could be someone else here because calling your soulmate and honeymoon now this person could be returning because this person very well could be your soulmate that when this reunion comes together then you guys are going to be going on the honeymoon so take how it resonates hopefully it's that but with the I trusted you and I wonder how you feel, I still feel the pain. It's kind of giving me that someone did something that they regret. Uh, what does Virgo want to say to this person? And I feel like it's this person. What does Virgo want to say to this person? Mm, yeah. It's definitely given runner chaser dynamic. It's given twin flame. We have detachment. We got cold. We got storm and unexpected. So I feel like when this storm happened, you were like forced to go cold on this person. I feel like you were left with really no choice. Um, is pretty much what I'm getting here. I feel like you you didn't have a choice. what i'm getting here like you, you didn't have a choice um and maybe you're detaching because i do feel like there's another energy here um so i don't know yep decisions i can't make it up i can't make it up we have toxicity bound and patterns we got change and courage so, yeah, Virgos, you're feeling like you need a change because you guys are, I feel like now you guys are afraid that this person didn't change and that it will be a repeated cycle is what I'm picking up here because I feel like you guys feel like this person has toxic patterns with them, possibly even strong toxic behaviors, honestly. Um, and I feel like you guys are looking at it like, you know, maybe these were small red flags that you three, 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 six is on the timer. Um, maybe these were patterns that you guys picked up on and maybe it's caused separation too. So everybody's story is different, like I said, but I definitely get that you guys are like not really sure if this is what you want to do. Yeah. I feel like you guys don't know if you want to revisit this or not. I feel like you guys are so this could be a past person and now the new person is this sweet lover um yeah they are really really in their feminine energy so I feel like this past person could have been like strongly in a whole lot of masculine energy and they weren't balanced yeah feminine is still here at the bottom of the day and I feel like this new person is just is different but it's work is it's doing it for you yeah, we got confusion, illusions, and Neptune, separation, and longing. Um, now, someone could be doing energy work here to keep you confused, stuck, or whatever. But you got to really pray. You really got to ask your ancestors, your spirit guides, 
Um, if you're really that confused, uh, Virgos, you know what what it is that they they want you to do. What is the the highest decision for you? Is pretty much what I'm getting here. This looks pretty good, guys. Um, let's pull y'all some more love oracles from the new deck. This is a new heart deck I got. And then last last but least, we're going to pull y'all some tarot. And we're going to close it out. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Let me know where y'all stand at. Are y'all revisiting this or y'all moving forward? All right. It says, only time will tell. And I feel like that's exactly how y'all feel. Only time will tell. So some of you guys, you might be like, okay, you know what? We can go to lunch. We can go to, you know, a couple uh, breakfasts. Because I don't feel like y'all doing a dinner thing too close with this person. Because I feel like y'all don't want to mislead this person with the fact of doing dinner late. Um, with the notion that you're going to their place or they coming to your place. So I feel like you're going to keep it very cute, very light, very airy. Um, nothing too heavy um if this is a past person um potentially too with the new person too um so take it how it resonates but i'm strongly getting it if it's a past person um with the new person i feel like y'all are all giggles all giggles so i feel like you you're, you you know only time will tell anyway it says imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life see that new energy is potent potent it and they're putting it up on the honeymoon and love yourself first so some of y'all could be taking yourselves on a holiday okay and you could meet this person while you're on a holiday all right take it how it resonates all right let's see what spirit got to say with the tarot row. like comment subscribe guys let me know what y'all think Again, I do apologize for any noise, and I do apologize if you can hear my baby snore. <laughs> they are wore out. Seven of Pentacles here. Not sure where to invest that now. Um, I feel like y'all are leaning towards the new, but I do. I know that you love this past person for sure. But I feel like I saw the Five of Swords, but I definitely feel like y'all are just like not really sure. Like honestly. Yeah, judgment in the reverse. Um, this is this past person that wants wants another chance here. Yeah, chariot. And this person could also too only be coming in because they know that you got another person. The devil and the chariot. Yeah, that's like that controlling aggressive energy. It's kind of like ownership type of energy. I don't like it. It's like entitled energy. Like, no. And I feel like that's what's going to make y'all go towards this new, per this new person. And even if this person really did change, the way that they're going to... It's like they're going to play cool for a little bit, but I feel like that's going to wear out. The Nine of Swords here. And I feel like their patience is going to get the best of them. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe somebody's saying they want to be separated and be single, but really they not. Maybe they really going towards another connection here. Let's see. Why is not a coin coming up in the reverse on the separation? Maybe somebody was portraying that they were single and they weren't. And they were in a relationship. So now this person is like, yeah, I'm really single now. I'm back. I'm really single now. Was well, the nine of pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, four pentacles. Ace of pentacles, that's new. The higher font and the three of pentacles. Somebody may want to renew their vows here, or somebody is renewing vows here, or something like that here. But I'm also getting the energy that um, with the four of pentacles upright and the nine of coins in the reverse, this is a person that really has in their mind that y'all still together and y'all not. This person could be telling people that y'all together, whatever, whatever. Yeah, the emperor controlling. This person is trying to control this situation here and you're like, I'm not. 
Um, oh, but I left that person. I broke up with that person. I'm not with that person. Oh my God. Okay, what's going on on this side here? Yeah, you like, we are done. It's over with. Um, yeah, the King of Swords. Y'all might have to get a restraining order. Who the fuck is this cuckoo? Or this person is married or something like that and they they want to be with you? Uh, make it make sense. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Like, yeah, something is dead, done, and over with on your side, Virgo. You're like, I don't know what this person is talking about. And then that's the confusion here. You're like, we've been separated. The fuck is going on here? Like, I don't know. I'm not with that person. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Like, what the fuck? You like the Ace of Pentacles. Like, I got some Anubu here that we about to go on vacation with. Oh, so don't tag your location, please. Block this person or whatever you need to do. Uh, yeah, you what your boo. The King of Cups. Mm -hmm. uh, this person ain't no sucker either with the Seven of Wands here. So don't let the quirkiness fool you. Okay. Go, Urgu. <laughs> The hate man. It could be a Pisces. The nine of cuss. It's a Pisces or a Scorpio here that y'all could potentially talking to currently here. Don't necessarily have to be. But you could be. And this person makes you happy with the nine of cups. The seven of swords here. Yep, yeah, the sun. I don't know. This new person might be low-key crazy, too. But in a good way. Like, if you tell this person that somebody's fucking with you, like, they... I'ma just say don't let the nerdiness fool you, okay? Or however this person look like, because they are not looking like your average... The typical person that you... Confirmation. The typical person that you would date, they don't look nothing like that. But I'm just saying, don't let that... Quirky, nerdy, whatever the fuck this motherfucker got going on about them. Don't let that shit fool you, dog. Okay. <laughs> this motherfucker might know some Taekwondo or some shit. <laughs> Look, they know how to fight. <laughs> Five of Wands. Queen of Cups, they fighting for they boo. Okay. Okay, shout out to the... Shout out to the new boo, honey. Okay, they ain't fucking around. All right. All right, Virgos. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, y'all. Here go to Empress Al. You might get pregnant by this new person too. If you do, so be able to girl. Mm, I can't make it up. Ooh, here's that King of Wands. The Two of Swords and the Five of Coins. Um. The past person will purposely try to get you pregnant, okay? So do not, do not, do not. The new person looks good, guys, okay? Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I have Aquarius energy here, but the Aquarius didn't come out. Um, I have Leo, Taurus. Um, oh, actually, the world card is here, so that is Aquarius, so... It could be any fixed sign, but that's what I got for you guys. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm so sorry, 4333. I'm sorry I'm so chill and quiet, but like I said, I don't want to wake the kids up like they literally just went to sleep. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for being here. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Ring the bell um, and let me know. Is this resonating with y'all with this crazy past person? And is the new person a sweetheart? If not, you haven't met them yet, but they will be. All right. Love you guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, ciao.